So this is how the um, tow bar wiring was wired in by whoever did it, I presume the supply dealer. Uh, looks like Stevie Wonder did it. But, um, see what we can do to make that look a whole lot better. I was just picking these off one by one. So start with the right indicator, so I've taken off the tap-in connector. I've stripped back the insulation here. We're going to wind that on, solder on it. Well, solder it as a T-joint. Should be super strong. And we'll tape it up. Should be good. There we go, soldered up. That's a joint I learned about 20 years ago. I did my electrical apprenticeship. Um, yeah, so it should have been done. Now it's done now. And you see where they've um, stripped back the protective covering to uh, do the half fast wiring job. They've left the main earth cable vulnerable, so it's got a big split up the side there. There you go, done. Took about five minutes. I'm sure someone probably paid about a thousand dollars for this tow bar install first time around, so we can then just spend five minutes and uh, do the job properly. So I've taped it up so it can't rub on wherever it was rubbing before. Uh, lucky it was only the earth, so no big deal if your earth earths out. But yeah, we'll um, tidy it up and uh, to the other end. Well, there we go, that end's all soldered in. That's our live our main power feed. The other bit's all done. The right hand indicator's looped through to the other side. It's soldered in the heat trunk. Uh, the motor. Got our power probe, we've got the tail lights on, so we should have. So we've got plus 12 on those, we've got nothing else on. Uh, I'll set you up and I'll go test the brakes. Well, you let me know what you hear. And indicators too, you can hear the relays clicking away. What have we got for relays? That's um, yellow number one. Should be that one. So yeah, there we go. All working properly. Right now, I was just going to reuse the um, existing tail through to the plug, but the flipping mouth breather who installed it one and um, well, I don't know what they did, but it's jammed in there without taking the bumper off. It's um, near impossible to get off so I'll get another bit of trailer cable this one's again where he's well they've just jammed it in it's all kind of well they've jammed it in it's all crushed and whatever so we'll get a new piece make this nice and as it should have been when they came out the installers and uh, we'll be away okay there's our finished installation you got um, the inputs on the left hand side the outputs to the five core trailer cable on the right hand side uh, for some reason there's no earth that no earth pin provided on the plug so I've just had to tap in same as the other ways uh, to get our earth down to the plug all right there's the finished product you see we got tail lights working indicators working it's all done uh, so the moral of the story if you pay a professional to do a job make sure they do a professional job not some Mickey Mouse half cut heap of garbage like this was uh, yeah done properly now um, it's not a DIY video I'm just showing you the conclusion of what's been going on with this flipping trailer well, trailer electrics uh, if you want a DIY head over to Modget and Le Leggett Garage he did a three part series of installing a tow bar well, surprisingly enough on a 2009 Ford Focus so I haven't actually watched a whole lot but uh, <laughs> essentially that's what we're doing here we're putting the tow, well, tow bars already on Redone the electrics to use the um, relay box. That's all it is, just a box of relays. Pretty solid bit of kit, you can hear it clicking away probably in the background. Um, yeah, so this is how it should have been done eight years ago when the car was new, but cut corners, did half a job. But we're good now. So there we go, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for the suggestions of getting it fixed. Yeah, I don't know much about canvas at the moment. I probably should. I kind of was a network engineer for many years, and once I get my head around it, we might be able to do some half decent videos on it. Uh, yeah, essentially, the reason why it doesn't work with the straight wiring is often it's a modulated signal, so it's not a flat DC signal, it's a modulated um, sine wave, wave light thing, which changes the intensity of bulbs and all that kind of stuff. So. LEDs can't interpret that well. Even when I put a load 
across the the bulbs, 50 ohm load, didn't make any difference. So this is the right way to go, it's going to protect the vehicle wiring. Um, yeah, it's a solution. It's the, the only solution really. Uh, it's a proper job, done well, should last for forever really. So cool, thanks, see you later. Thank you.